Alright, hey guys, it's me, Atomic Anvil, and today I'm here with a new Let's Play of Puzzle Quest Challenge of the Warlords. So this is a Nintendo DS game, and I'm playing it on my computer. Uh, it's heavily touch screen, so as you can see, I'll be using my mouse here, and I we got top screen on the left, bottom screen on the right. It's all fancy. And we're gonna dive into this game. Now, this is a game I actually own on the Nintendo DS, so you could argue that emulators and ROMs are illegal, but is not true, because I own it, so that's not a thing, um, but this game's cool because it takes, like, your standard Bejeweled puzzle, or, I guess, Candy Crush Saga, if you want to fucking go with that, but here we got, uh, it's that kind of general gameplay, except they turned it into an RPG, and this is actually the first one out of all of them, all the Puzzle Quest games, this is the first. And it's actually the best, so we're gonna go ahead and choose a character here. Druids, yellow and green mana mainly, and you'll see what all this is. Um, they defeat foes in subtle manner, often doing things such as entangling them or changing the gems on the board. Uh, knights, which I'm probably gonna go with. Um, knights are noble and chivalrous warriors who excel in using stars on the board to great effect, such as gaining extra XP or healing themselves. They also have a very good stock of damage, and I say very good because I mean it's very good, it's, yeah, it's a knight, man, I mean, what are you gonna do? So, basically, yeah, kind of side effect stuff, yellow and green mana, eh, not really my thing, this is a lot of fun, this towards the end, I think, if I can find the right image, yeah, okay, I think this character at the end gets retarded overpowered, not, not the, picture doesn't matter, but I was just associating it with the last time I played. But yeah, and then uh, Wizard, Red and Yellow Mana, Fireball. Wizard actually generally doesn't have very powerful spells. Um, at least not that I'm familiar with. So, let's go ahead and choose War, or uh, I guess let's do Knight. I'm playing that, I'm playing a Knight on the DS one, but it's early on, so we'll just carry that over here, and it's whatever. Um, I don't know, what should we name him? We can be boring, just put my username. Uh, Let's, uh, um, uh, Ronaldo. Spelled really badly. Right. It's a fantasy game, don't judge. Uh, yeah, so, this is a lot of fun. Many say that the universe move. oh, that is universe. I was thrown off by that, because, uh, dyslexia in fantasy games usually not referring to universe. Yeah, you can read it. Yeah, Gary Knights had known pieces for too long. Their kingdom had been quiet and prosperous for many years. Yeah, so you can read all that. You know how to read. Uh, I'm just going to talk over right now for what I've been doing. Uh, basically, I... Oh. Hello there. Oh, I can, can I? I know how to use all this shit. Stop. Okay. List of options. Yeah, okay. Do we... Okay, we don't need that. Wow. Okay. So... This game's cool. I really like this game. So you see this big old map here and everything? You will eventually use every bit of this map, constantly. Uh, it's a fun game. Uh, yeah, not much. Let's dive right on into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about just stuff in general. Uh, Bartonia is the largest of the citadels of, in the Argarian. Ugh, words! Agarian Empire, many young nobles and squires are sent here to train as part of their education. Knightly orders. There are five orders of knights in Agaria. The Bartonians are the largest, but each of the other four orders, Syrians, Elenians, Therians, and Gildings, is equally prestigious in their own way. Yeah, so, generally you just come there, spend a little money, get rumors, uh, lore, I guess. Um, so, yeah, this game, uh, I, yeah. Okay, a lot of fun. Big thing I want to talk about, though. Uh, your father has requested your presence in Syria. You must travel there and meet him. Yeah, so. Majesty, I need a request to leave of absence. Leave of absence. Your studies are progressing well. What is so urgent? My father, Sir Albion, has requested my presence in Syria. Your father is a good man. He would not make such a request unless it was important. Your request is granted. Thank you, Your Majesty. Send your father my regards and hurry back. You still have much to learn. I will, my queen. Thank you. Yeah, so, 
here's the first tutorial quest. So you'll notice over here it says uh, the day, the, the date, yeah, date stuff. I don't know what, I don't know if these are like about a thing, but uh, yeah. So quests and all that, you can have up to four quests at once, as you can see, yeah. So, alright, let's get this all done and then I'll talk about it talk about, because apparently it's not going to let me talk. You have arrived in Syria, home of your father, Sir Albion. You should visit your father at the first available opportunity, which would be right this second. Father, I came as soon as I got your message. You are looking well, my son. The training in Bartonia obviously agrees with you. I mean, obviously. We have missed you here in Syria. I mean, just look at these muscles. What are you going to do about it? The Queen sends her regards. Queen Gwendolyn is a good person. Even as a young girl, she was very kind and fair. Why did you send for me? Is everything okay? Yes, yes, but I found something odd in the West Tower, and I wanted to give it to you personally. The West Tower? That was where Grandfather lived. Oh no, not Grandfather! Yes, it was so long ago, I'm surprised you remember him. I found an old broken shield in there with a message from him. It said that the shield was to be given to you. A broken shield? Yes, it seems like such a trivial matter to call you back from Bartonia. Almost seems wasteful, but it was one of his last wishes, and he was a brave man. He deserves to have those wishes honored. Dude, like, I don't know how long that of a travel that is, but, like, if it's, like, more than, like, ten miles, like, these people are on foot. Like, that's fucked. I'm sorry. There's, like, ugh, that's not, I mean, it's good, but, like, come on, man. That's pretty bad. Couldn't, like, carrier pigeon that? Thank you, Father. It is always good to see you and to see Siri again. Yeah, wait. Okay, so you receive a broken shield from your father. You receive the following reward. Broken shield plus one experience. So. The quest was, in fact, complete. Hero inventory. Oh, it's already equipped. Gives a plus 10% chance to protect against one point of damage whenever you receive two or more damage. Yeah. Oh! Seventh of flames. Okay, so... Seven okay, so that's like six days travel, or probably like two days travel, and since it's like your home place, maybe you stay long, I don't even know. Maybe it's like five days travel, and you spend a day there, and the day back, coming back. God damn, that's a long time. That's, that is like, if, mm, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that would be an okay quest. I'd, I'd probably be like, I mean, it's good cause, but Jesus. Queen Gwendolyn has ruled over Bartonia for 15 years. She has been a wise, kind, and noble ruler. During her reign, Bartonia has known unequaled prosperity. Cool. Also, another thing about this game which is really cool, the soundtrack is amazing. So, practice on me. You must learn some basic combat against the practice on me, and then I can talk about stuff. Back so soon. All was well in Syria, I hope. My father had a gift for me from my late grandfather. He found it and wanted to pass it along. Your grandfather, wasn't he? Yes, your majesty. He was the one who claimed on his deathbed that he had been mortally wounded by idling skeletons. He was an old man and perhaps a little crazy. The walking dead have not been seen in Agaria for many centuries. I don't believe he was crazy, man. I have heard more than one rumor about such things this last year. What? Your majesty, get out of here. That's craziness. It's crazy talk. Skeletons don't walk around. Don't give it any thought. You should return to your training if you are to become a valued member of the palace guard. Evelyn has been waiting for you to return. Who the fuck is Evelyn? I will go at once. Ugh! I don't want that! I know how to play this game. Yeah, okay, so this is cool. So, each colored gem is one type of mana, which you can see over here. The blue, yellow, red, and green mana. And yeah. And then, uh... Yeah, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, and then these purple stars are extra experience. Gold is gold. These are actually skulls, not s creepy squid. And they do damage. Yeah, so this is generally what this game is like. Uh, oh, what I, do I have to... Oh, I do. That is so weird. Okay, so I have to press a button to switch this stuff in order to figure out this help stuff. The owner of this shield never takes a turn. That's... Terrible. I mean, he is a practice dummy, but come on, that's pretty bad. Okay, yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna get to this, and uh, 
Uh, yeah, so basically, what I wanted to start off saying since the beginning of this episode is, uh, I have not been recording in a very long time. I had the end of the school year to worry about, and then I actually recently got a job, and so I'm working, um, five days a week, so I actually don't have a lot of time to do any of this. And then when school starts off, I plan on still doing that, and we're just gonna grind a little XP and coins here, but, yeah, so I plan on still doing school and, um, work at the same time, so I'm really gonna have even less time, so I I will still be doing it, but it'll be very less so, and um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. I'm still gonna be pumping stuff out, though, so don't even fret. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, oh yeah, so I, regarding, regarding the other Let's Plays, recording, I'm not a gourd person, those are like pumpkin people. But, uh, yeah, so, regarding my other Let's Plays, I've been recording them, well, not recording them, the ones I have recorded, which are actually a lot, um, are just waiting to be edited. My video editor, like, takes so long to, like, load a video just to edit it. Like, I have to load it all, which takes, like, an hour, and then it takes, like, another two hours to, get, like, render half of it, and then, um, well, depending on the video, but the particular videos I've been trying to edit, they take, like, fucking two hours to render, and it's on top of the two-hour wait to actually load it. So, yeah, and then I have to spend, like, hours editing it, because if I don't spend all that time... Because, like, if I try to spend, like, those four hours opening it, and then I only edit for an hour and then close it, like... I just spent like five hours getting only one hour of work done, and then I'm gonna have to spend another four hours to even set it all up to even edit again sometime the next time I go to do it. So it's really inconvenient right now, and it's just with work and soon school, I'm not gonna have time for that. And we won the battle. So I'm really trying to find a way to have a good workaround, and really when I have time where I'm not wanting to like hang out with my friends and like just relax, um, then I'll be doing this, but generally it's not gonna be happening very often, so, there is that, but I will be doing more, so, yeah, I mean, this is the start of a series, so we're gonna, obviously we're gonna keep it going, but, like, you know, not gonna be happening constantly, so, I apologize about that ahead of time. The Palace Guard of Bartonia is a popular training academy for young nobles there. They can learn basics, magic, fighting skills, and how to behave in the royal car. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to open these up, and you can pause it and read them if you want to, so the option is there for you, since you probably don't want to pick up the game to learn all the lore. Um, advanced combat. So now we're going to fight actual people. But yeah, I'll just, you can pause it and look at those. I'll leave it up for like half a second, so you can pause it well, and time it well. But uh, I'm not going to take the time to read all that, because that'll take fucking forever. Evelyn tells me your training is proceeding well. It is. I still have much to learn, Your Majesty. I hope you have time. What do you mean? Forgive me, nothing. It was just strange we talked of your grandfather earlier and his tales of the undead. I have heard two similar reports since then. It is very unusual. We have not seen these creatures here since the Bane Wars many centuries ago. Is there anything I can do? And that's not Batman Bane, just so you know. Just saying. <laughs> Go back to your training with Evelyn. I sense a storm brewing and I think we will soon need all of the swords Bartonia can muster. As you wish, Majesty. And stop. Dear God, I hate the tutorials. Alright, so this is an actual opponent. So he's gonna actually be taking turns. He's got all of his equipment over there, which I'm not gonna take the time to read. Um, this is my spell. Let's see. Destroy is a selected gem. You gain full effect for the gem destroyed. Which is thrust. It costs six red mana and six blue mana to use. So, we're gonna start off by doing the damage there so that like, he can't do that on his turn. Awesome. Sounds like the audio is going a little slow. Next episode, I'll be sure to fix that. Um, this is just the introduction, so I think after this tu the tutorial is finished, I'll end the first episode. And that uh, just so if you guys don't want to see the tutorial or do, feel free to skip on in the next episode. May or may not be already uploaded. If not, just wait. It will be, um, or watch the episode. I don't really know. Yeah. So the audio is going to be. A bit of a delay. Maybe the video, too. It seems like the 
actual game is a bit delayed, too. I could actually load it up on my DS and check right now, but that would take too much time, so. Let's just go and muscle on ahead, and I did not see that like a doofus. So, yeah. That was a mistake. I mean, not that he could have seen that coming, but oh, four of a kind, take another turn. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so... If that was, like, right there, that'd be... Okay, I mean, whatever. I'll take that. That's a nice one, nonetheless. It's a pretty nice combo, if I do say so myself. <laughs> We're both, like, trying to not... We're both, like... Ugh. Those... That combo is just gonna be ridiculous when it gets unleashed. Oh, and I could've done that. He's probably gonna take... Oh, well, never mind. And he got that. Ow. Well, then. Oh, my God. I cannot handle it. He's having trouble. You can definitely tell with the sound and all that. But, like, the game actually doesn't look that slow. I mean, compared to the actual speed of it, it's pretty slow. But, like, I'm sure video-wise, it doesn't look too slow. I mean, not without actually knowing playing the game yourself. Like, I was playing it, like, maybe 15 minutes before I started this, so I really screwed myself there, but, I mean, other than that, I don't think you'd notice, so, yeah. Well, other than the audio. The audio is extremely noticeable, but it's fine. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so what do I have? I have red... I've not been paying to man attention to any mana. Um, there's, like, no blue mana for me to get either, and that's, like, the only spell I have. I'm, like, level 8 on my DS. I've beaten this game multiple times, but, like, it's been a really long time, and recently I was just like, you know, I, I gotta play this. I gotta play it. It's a fun game. Can't not. Yeah, I'm seriously... Is the first fight really gonna be a game over? Just because I'm not paying attention? Totally not, because I'm bad at the game at all. Yeah, no, not at all. Give me that. Um, move. I want to see. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm gonna die here pretty soon. Anyways, let's see. Yeah, he could pretty much use any of the skulls at any time with thrust, and I could take one damage automatically. So. In six turns, he could kill me. He doesn't really have that much mana, but he will. Hmm. Wait. Oh, his costs too much. Some enemies, uh, their spells will cost less than it does when you use them, which is kind of, kind of crappy. But I mean, you know, not much can be done about it. And there we go. Now we can start using some spells. A spell. That's all I got. That's all I got, man. Don't judge. Uh, let's do that. Because I didn't trust that location it was at. No, in my luck, I would have screwed myself and it would have, he would have used it on me. Hmm. Interesting. Gold. Oh, well, there we go. That's what happens when you don't pay attention, people. So, gotta level up. Okay, so, four skill points left to spend. Now, Earth Mastery has to do with green mana, max amount you can have, the percentage of getting an extra turn when you combine them, when you match them, I guess, uh, and then uh, turning it into a wild gem, wild card, all that kind of stuff. Earth is, uh, and that's like for all of them. So, Earth is uh, green mana, fire is red mana, air is yellow, water, blue, battle is the, um, skulls, the squid skulls, cunning is gold, and then morale is the purple stars, so, I think, because I want to basically port my DS version, let me power it up here, but what I do know is that I had, for sure, I think the first level I put one in air, and one in I think that's what I did for that first one. Yeah, I think I got them all up to four, and then that was that. And then I started doing a different thing. Um, you have failed your combat training, let's try again. 
fine. I'll fucking do it again. Jerk. Oh, it definitely runs better on the DS. Oh, God. Um. Yes, plus. Jesus. Uh. Yeah, so. We're gonna go ahead and get some red mana right off the bat here. And apparently it's just gonna hurt us right off the bat. What a meanie. I'm not getting that red mana. It's not happening. Crossed my mind, but it's not happening. Not that really matters. When he still finds a way to do damage to me. Give me that experience. And... How do I want to go about this? I need red mana. I can be... Oh, Divine Right. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so basically that allows me to take all the purple stars on the field, which is a ton of experience and can change the tide of the battle really quickly. And ow! Really? Really? Wow. Rude. It's just a bunch of rudeness. Okay, well, I think just straight up damage. Probably the best option right there. I mean, he's got a ton of mana, but like, the damage, man. Had to go with the damage. Um, I'm gonna get that. Oh, sweet, an extra turn. And that's for the uh, chance thing that I was talking about with the leveling up, the cunning, and all that. That's one of the options. That we'll Why did. I mean, that gets you more, but he could have had an extra turn. I mean, I guess he's not worried about killing me. He's not too worried about defeating me, you know. He thinks. He's, he's too cocky now. See, it's when, when you're cocky that you lose. Um. Oh, I don't actually, I can't actually look up my skills until I've beaten, until I've, like, leveled up. Which is really weird. Huh. Well, guess I cannot look that up until I actually level up again in the which is 1,250 experience away. Wow. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna keep playing on this one. Oh my god, it's so much slower than I want it to be. Sweet, wow, I've actually, okay, those are like, those are like at a, like, one percentage chance right now, but I'm getting them, like, a lot, which, I mean, that's pretty cool, but, like, why, I guess is my question, yeah, see, Divine Rights, awesome, except if you don't have the ability stun, which, uh, damages your enemy slightly, and then, uh, I think if you have enough mana, oh, no, what it does is it, uh, it makes the person miss their next turn, so you automatically get two turns right there. You stun and then get a turn and then get another turn, so pretty cool. And then, ah, no, that would just give him a chance to attack me. That's not what I want. I want that red mana. Hey, I didn't even see that go down. Give me that five of a kind. Yes, please. And I'll take a green four of a kind with that wild card. And then another. That is, man... Sometimes this game just works out beautiful. Love it. Um, let's see. I think there's not enough purple stars here. Or any, like, thing I care enough about to use the thrust. So, I'm not gonna be using mana here for a minute. Um, let's go ahead and get some more red mana, because we're very low on that. Because if we can use thrust, if we get enough mana, we can just thrust a bunch, and we can just get a bunch of, uh... Yeah, we could pelvic thrust a bunch, you know. That'll stop the enemy. Uh, or just really creep them out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if we get enough of fucking in, if we get enough of that, then we can just stab a bunch of the skulls, and it'll be good. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that there. And then, uh, let's see. Wham. That was quite a bit of things. Really? Okay, well, I'm going to start off by definitely going with that. And then, uh, I'm um, just, you know, I'm probably going to make bad calls sometimes. Or, I mean, sometimes you just don't see things, you know? So, hopefully that won't be the case. And that isn't a terrible corner, but it will do a decent enough damage, so... Yeah, why not? And then he just did actual damage to me, so... I mean, I could have just done that and then worried about that later, but no. Had to go do it. Um, divine right. Hey, look at that. That's pretty nice. 
the, uh, the nice chance damage there. Uh, let's, yeah. Oh, red mana is the way to go. So, I also need blue mana, but, I mean, none of it really is that bad right now. He's actually lower health than me right now, surprisingly enough. I mean, not that I'm, like, insanely bad at this game. I'm pretty good at it. It's just been a long time. And then, on top of that, I really haven't done too much to... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty even right now. Um, let's get this extra experience real quick. And, yeah. Get that for a kind... Then let's go ahead and uh, stab a skull, thrust it, and then, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. The, yeah, so, the problem that you gotta watch out for in this game is if there are no turns left, because that will happen, like, fucking like that. Mana drain, drains everybody's mana, and then it goes on to the next person's turn. Like, nothing ever happened, except everything happened, because it could completely change the flow of the game, and you could be completely winning by, like, a crap ton, and then the person just comes back and kills you, all because mana drain. It can totally screw you over. It's scary. Oh, really? Wow. That was messed up. Seriously? Well then. Okay, well, we're gonna be... We're gonna actually take this guy down. Like, for real this time, man. We got this. We're gonna go that. Uh... But why, game? Okay, wow, he actually didn't do that. Okay, well... I mean... I, do, I would like that mana, but the damage would also be nice. I mean, that's not much mana, we'll just go damage. If it was like a times five, I think I'd do that for sure. Or a times four. Give me that four of a kind, yes please. To get some gold. Now on the like, times two thing doesn't work for gold, purple, or uh, skulls. They only work for pretty much the colors they show there, so yeah. I mean, it's self-explanatory, but, like, I don't know. It's cool. Hmm. And I completely did not see it. Oh, um, can you, can you not? Can we, okay, thank you. Awesome. There are two wild cards there. I could shoot a good four of a kind with that. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the best option. I just don't have anything for green, so it's, like, kind of waste feeling, but, like, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so there's that. We could also... Let's get some experience, yeah. And then I'll attack him. So Puzzle Quest 2 expands on the gameplay of this a bit, but, like... The story and, like, other things surrounding the gameplay, just, I don't know, it's not very well done. I don't enjoy it. Plus, if I was, I don't think it is on the DS. It might be? I don't know. I'll look into it. If it is, then I can, like, beat this one, and then I'll do that one, I guess. I don't like it, but, like, I'll play it. It's not, it's not like the fucking Galatrix one. That one's terrible. I don't care what you say, that one's bad. Give me a grid, don't give me a freaking uh, hexagon, man. It's not cool. It just doesn't play the way I want it to. Not nearly as much as this. This is just like really appealing, but the other is not as much at all. And that Marvel one, I know a lot of people think it's cool. At least people I've talked to. But, like, I played it, I didn't really like it that much. 
didn't think it was that great. I mean, it's interesting that they decided to go with Marvel, I guess. But, like, why? And, like, why does it... Why is it not good? It should, like, be a good game. Just, there's not really anything cool for it. It's literally just, like, get characters and they have slightly more health than they have, like... It's like the same setup, except they don't have any cool, like... Can't get items, there's no leveling up, really. There's, there's really not much. I mean, there's leveling up, but it... I mean, it doesn't really do crap. Like, I don't know. It's not as appealing. There's something about this one is just so good. Yeah, see, now, now this guy's gonna die. Assuming there's no manager. That will definitely be the downfall. Let's get rid of that. And we're gonna need more red mana, so I probably should have saved that. That's okay, because we're gonna go Divine Right and get a ton of experience. That's all good. That's to be expected when you don't use stun before Divine Right. So, that'll be fine. Um... Oh, that was one over. Uh, yeah, let's go, gold. Wow, okay. Wow, really? An extra turn, too. It's rude. I'm not cool with that. But I mean, whatever. And that's gonna get green and blue. Awesome. And apparently some experience. I will definitely be taking that dealing some damage, getting it out there, letting you know what's what. Re okay, I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah. But you could have, like, done one before the other, and just gotten a lot. Stupid NPC, making things easy for me. What is this? Never ask you to go easy. I mean, this is, like, my third time trying this fight. Yeah. Don't need to be... Don't need to be rude about it. I don't take pity. I don't let people take pity on me. It's a, it's a no pity... Uh... Street. It has, like... One of those signs that says you can't turn here. But... It's like... It has a picture of, um... What, what would... A picture of pity. I don't... Like, what would be the best visual representation of pity? Because, I mean, if it's like a car sign, they have to have visual representation. Because they're like... If they just say, no pity! Or, like, pity with, like, the... Like, the word and then, like, a circle around it crossing out. I mean, I guess that would work. But, like, if you were to do one of the picture signs, like... I don't know. How would you best visualize it, just so, like, without any question, the person is just like, that's pity, yep, it's like, I, I don't know, I don't know what that would be, got no idea, oh boy, please die, you're, like, so close to dying, I mean, I'll take some more gold and experience, but, like, please die, do you not want, like, want to have to, drag this on any longer than I've had to already. Die. Goddamn. Only one damage. Please! Ugh. It's not necessary, man. I think that's what it comes down to. Is it's just not necessary to drag things on like this. Like, you, you just... You, you have a broken sword at this point. Like, I mean, I know I got a, a broken shield, but like, your lance, man broken. I mean, it doesn't say it's broken, but it's broken. I mean, how, how are you supposed to win with a broken with a broken fight? You can't do it. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Your fight is broken, so. Kind of, kind of like a broken will. It just happens. Where... Okay, I mean, that works, too. Jerk. Taking, taking my mana. Taking my mana. Dude, seriously, like, if I can get, like, 
only a couple more combos. Okay, so two more turns and this guy is dead. Oh, okay, so three more turn. Oh, no, nope, he's dead. Awesome. Thought I was gonna have to get more ma red mana and then take another th two turns or whatever. Ugh. So, okay, so yeah, level up. Um. Why, thank you. Uh, let's see. If we go. One there. Oh, wow. Some serious lag right there. Weird. Unless, at least audio lag. Uh, let's go. Battle could use one. And then I guess. I don't know, more in battle? I feel like more in tomorrow would be smart. Because you're already trying to target the combat one, anyways. The schools. You're already wanting to do that as it is. Hey, so, like. I think the tutorial is over. I missed it. What is this? A sealed message. Oh, uh, yep. Sealed. Okay, well. A sealed message must be delivered to Sir Albion in Syria. This is an important message, and you may be in danger as you travel there. So, this is going to be the very first mission. Another why? Another bleh, the words. In other words, what? Okay, basically, this is going to be the end of the um, the episode. First episode. I know I sound like I'm out of the loop, and that you'd be right. So. Yeah, next time we'll pick it up from here, and we'll actually start the actual game. It won't be laggy audio or gameplay, so, yeah. Not that this one was too bad, but compared to the actual version, pretty bad. So, I mean, it was hell for me, so, yeah. We'll see the next episode, and it'll be awesome. So, yeah. S stay tuned, I guess. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.